for problem C. Who can help me out figuring out what decimals I have? What decimal does this model show me? Kylie, what decimal is this first set of models showing me? One decimal fifty nine. Great job, Kylie. So one whole fifty nine hundred. Okay, so there's my first decimal. What about my second decimal? Who can tell me what is the second decimal that this model or these models here are showing me? Bailey? What decimal is the second models showing me? What do I see there? A point, right? Yeah. One point. Okay. With these ones, you have to be very, very careful. Remember when you're counting by tens, they have to be the whole row. Okay? So here's one. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh. Yeah, if you count from the top, because you just look at the top ones, you might count an extra one by mistake. You got to be a little bit careful with that. That's all right. You were very, very close. But that's why whenever I'm counting like this, Bailey, especially when I'm using that trick to kind of count a little bit quicker and count the whole rows. What I do is you see how there's always like one side that they don't always go the way all the way to. That's the side that I count using. So I don't accidentally count an extra 10. So like here, I would have counted on this side because this is where my gap is. That way I don't accidentally count an extra 10. On this one, I would have counted from the bottom because that's where they have their gap. And so I don't accidentally count an extra 10. So you did fine. It's just they like to do things like that specifically because they know it's easy to make that mistake. 1.52. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in our place value chart. 1.52. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my hand, cover up the numbers that I don't want to pay attention to yet. So I'm going to cover up my decimals first. I always start off by covering up my decimals. I want to start with the biggest place value. Whatever place values they give me, I start with the biggest ones first. A one and a one. Well, a one is the same as one. Since they're the same, I don't know which one is bigger. I can't tell. So I move my hand and I look at my decimals now. 59 and 52. They're very, very close, but they're not the same. So I can tell one of them is bigger and one of them is smaller. Who can tell me which number is the bigger number? Is it 59 or 52? Which one of my numbers, which one of my decimals here are bigger? Bella, is it 59 or 52? Fifty-nine. So that's my big number. 52 is my small number. All right, so now I have to pick a symbol. I have to make sure it's facing the right way. So either I need to use this symbol, top one, or I need to use this symbol, the bottom one. 
who can tell me which symbol should be the one I use? Should I use the top symbol or the bottom symbol? Which one do I need to use for this problem? Messiah, which one do you think, top or bottom? Is it the top symbol or the bottom symbol? Okay, the bottom symbol, very good. Because I need it to make sure, and like I said, I think about Pac-Man. need to make sure that the Pac-Man is trying to eat the big number. my sentence would be 1.59 is bigger than 1.52 and here all I'm going to do is copy my numbers 1.59 1.52 and then copy the symbol from the middle. Just like that. Problem D, who can tell me what is the first decimal that I should have? Alexa, what's the first decimal? Get a little bit closer to your camera when, or to your computer when you talk, Alexa, because if you're too far away, it doesn't always pick up. Now you had your microphone muted. Try again. Okay, hold on, Alexa. Hold on. Okay. Try again. What is the first decimal I should have, Alexa? I still can't hear you. I don't know what's going on. Type it into the chat, Alexa. Uh, even, even with your microphone on, Alexa, it's not picking you up. I don't know what's going on, baby. Just type it into the chat. You can use a period for the, for the decimal. Either that or I think your internet's messing up because your picture's frozen. Bella, make sure we're not playing with the mask like that, baby. Not what they're for. Who can help Alexa out? What's that decimal, that first one? Kylie? Oh, see. One because it has one hole. Okay. And then? Oh. That was all her internet could give her. What's the rest of it, Kylie? Okay, 1.77. Okay, what about the second model? Who can help me out with the second model? What decimal should I have for the second one? Christopher? No, it's okay. I can hear you. What What's the decimal, Christopher? 1.9. 1.9. Very good. 
So I'm going to copy my numbers. 1.77, 1.9. Okay. Like last time, I see that I have a blank spot. What do I, what do I need to do to fill in this blank in the place value chart? Ezekiel? Add a zero. Okay. So if I check my numbers, I should start off using my hand, covering up the decimals, and looking at the whole numbers. We have a one and a one. If my numbers are the same, I cannot tell the difference. If I move my hand and I check the decimals, I have 77 and 90. Those are two different numbers. Who can tell me which one's the bigger number? 77 or is it 90? Bailey? Did you say 90 or? 77 or 90. Which one's the bigger number? 90. 90. So this is my big number. This is my small number. Now I need to put the symbol in the middle. I have to decide. Do I use this symbol or this symbol? The top one or the bottom one? Who can tell me what symbol should I be using? Should I use the top symbol or should I use the bottom symbol? Violet, which one would you pick? The bottom symbol. So I should put my symbol like that? No. Yes. So if this is my Pac-Man or my alligator, is it trying to eat the big one this way? No, you... I need the top one. Because if I have it this way, it's trying to eat the wrong one, right? Right. So let's switch that up. There we go. So my sentence should say 1.77 is smaller than 1.9. That's okay, Christopher. 1.77, 1.9, and symbol in the middle. So this next page that we're going to work on is a little bit different because instead of just asking us to compare two decimal numbers, this one asks us to compare four decimal numbers. And so instead of just saying which one is the big one, which one is the small one, we need to put them in order. The way we solve these problems is pretty much exactly the same, though, which is the good thing. Two A. The first thing I'm going to do, just like with the other problems, is I'm going to put my decimals next to my models. I want to label all of my models. Again, Always label those models because if you don't, then if you have to go use the restroom or you have to go do something else, you can forget what the numbers are and you make the problem harder for yourself. Yes, Jadine? Me? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need your hand. Oh, okay. So we're going to start off with this first model. Do you have a question, Jadine? Sorry, I keep on doing that. I don't want to do it. Okay. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is label my models. This first model is cut into tenths. And if I see how many they have, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be zero because there's no whole models. Zero point six. In fact, all of these, none of these models have any whole model shaded in. So they're all going to start with zero. Zero point something. The second model. Who can tell me what decimal I see here for the second model? Zero point what? Alexa? Zero point seven. Zero point seven. Okay. Who can help me with the third model? Zero point what? Kylie? Zero point seventy five and the last model they gave me. Who can help me with the last model? Chase? We have zero point six, zero point seven, zero point seventy five. What about this one? Zero point what? How many pieces did they shade in here, Chase? Very good. 0 0.65. OK, I'm going to put my numbers into my place value chart. Boop, 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 boop. So I need four decimals because I have four numbers. 0 0.6. 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.65. Now I do have some blank spaces here in my place value chart. But what was it that I can use to fill up those blank spaces that won't ruin my numbers? Chase, what can I use to fill up the blank spaces that won't ruin the numbers? Zero. Okay. Again, use your hand. Cover up the decimals just to see if we have any differences. Zero, 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 zero. Nothing, no differences. If I look at the decimals, I do see some differences. 60, 70, 75, 65. If I look underneath this, they want me to put it in order, starting with the greatest and going to the least. What does the greatest mean? Do they want the big numbers or the small numbers? Okay, do they want big numbers or small numbers? Okay, so the big numbers first. I'm gonna put a B here so I can remind myself. Big numbers first. Okay, if I take a look at my numbers here, 60, 70, 75, 65. What's the biggest number I have? What would it be, Nikai? What's the biggest number I have? Um, seven, zero point seven zero. Zero point seven what? Zero. So is 70 
bigger than 75, then 65, and then 60? No, 0 0.75. 0 0.75. This is my biggest number. That's my first place number. So I'm going to write a 1, and then I'm going to cross it out. Because I already know that that comes first. Now I'm going to take a look at all the numbers I have left, the ones I didn't cross out yet. 60, 70, 65. What number is going to become second? Jadine? What's going to come second? Mm -hmm. 0 0.65? So 60, 0 0.65 is the second biggest number I have? Yeah. It's bigger than 0 0.60 and 0 0.70? Yes. So if I gave you the choice, Jadine, and I told you I could give you $65 or $70? 70. 70. That's my second number. It's the second biggest one I have. So I'm going to put a number 2. And then I'm going to cross out 0 0.7. And I'm only going to put 0 0.7 because remember, I have to add that 0 to take up the empty spot. My model shows me 0 0.7. But like you pointed out, Jadine, and I like that you did, for these models, if I put those extra lines to make it into hundredths, it would be like there's 70 of them, right? It'd be the same thing. Yeah. We put 0 0.75, then 0 0.7. What number comes third? Christopher, what's my third number? Zero point sixty five. Okay, there's my third number. So I'm going to put a 3 and cross it out. Well, there's only one number left, 0 0.6. That's my last number, and I can cross it out. Now if I take a look at my place value chart, I crossed out all of my numbers, which means I used them all. I put them all in the right order, and I have that problem finished. We can move on to the second one. So this problem looks pretty similar. I've got some models. I've got to put them in order. Let's look at this first one. Who can tell me what decimal is this model showing me? I can help you out by saying, if I look at all these models, none of them have any holes shaded in. So they all start with zero point something. But who can tell me that first model? Data? What would this first model be? Zero point what? Very good, zero point sixty three. Okay, second model. Who can tell me what the second model shows me? Chase, what's that second model? Zero point what? Zero point sixty eight. Okay. The third model. What is the third model showing me? Bella? Okay. Zero 
0.67 and the last model 0. Point what Christopher Zero point what? Well, you can't tell me or. You gotta tell me which one, Christopher. You're trying to trick me into giving away answers, Christopher. It's not gonna work. Ah, 65. Good job. I saw through your trick, I saw you. Good try though, good try, good try. I caught you this time. Not gonna give away answers for free. Not for free. Okay, let's put them in our place value chart. I'm gonna start by lining up the decimals. I have four numbers, so four decimals. Boop, 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 boop. 0.63. 0 0.68, 0 0.67, 0 0.65. Let's take a moment, let's appreciate that, look, everything's all lined up. There's no empty spaces. So that's very nice. Then, take your hand. Oh, hold on, before we start doing that, look at what they want this time. They don't want the greatest first, they want the least first so do they want big numbers or do they want small numbers chase big numbers or small numbers small numbers this time so i'm going to put an s all right now we can use our hand boom hand of power i'm going to cover up all my decimals i'm going to look at the ones place Zero, 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 zero. Well, that doesn't help me very much. So let's take a look at the decimals now. 63, 68, 67, 65. Who can tell me? Which is the smallest number I have? Jada, what's my smallest? Zero point sixty three. So I'm gonna put a number one. That's my first number, and then cross it out. Zero point sixty three. Okay. I need my second number. What number is now the smallest that I have left? Kylie? What's the smallest one I've got left, Kylie? I've got 60, 0 0.68, 0 0.67, 0 0.65. What's the smallest, Kylie? Zero point sixty five. So that's my second number. Cross that out. All right, I need a third number. Noah, what's my third number? Zero point sixty seven is my third, which means there's only one choice for the fourth one. Zero point sixty 